My people, welcome back to your favorite You and I talk show with Luis Uacho. This week, my people, we have a super guy in the house. Stay tuned. All right, my people, thank you for being here today. Curtis Slum on the show. Thank you for being here, Curtis. Of course, thanks for having me. Yes. That's a, that's a great introduction, by the way. Oh, Just thank you. Like, mm -mm -mm. In Vancouver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we shot that in the summer. We can't go out right now it's cold <laughs> like that. Well, it's inspiring, you know. <laughs> you know, life goals. So how are you doing? I saw you at the Vancouver International Film Festival, yes. the red carpet. Yes. Looking look fly, still looking fly. Right back at you. <laughs> That's how we connected. We were just like, yes. who is this fly person? <laughs> Let's talk to each other. Um, life is good. Yeah. Life is great. Mm -hmm. The year is winding down. Yeah. It's been a, a, a great year. Busy for myself, a lot of my friends. Um, yeah, Vancouver is just, is just on another level right now. Yes. It's great. So you're still so young? Or maybe you look just so young? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, I am Asian, so I could be 44. You know? For, you know, for anyone yeah. who knows. But, but you uh, have done so much already. Mm. And uh, right now, you just came off a uh, recurring role on Prison Break. Yes. How is that? How did you get on Prison Break? I love the show. And how yeah. did you get on the show? And how is it working on the show? Um, I got on the show, I think it was like my third audition for Prison Break. Um, I originally auditioned for a few other roles. This one came up and it just it just worked, it just flowed. Um, they immediately brought me on set and it was really cool. It was my first time working on a show with that big of a fan base, I think. Um, you know, I had just got myself caught up on, on Netflix and all of that, so there's so many different storylines going on. It's super intense. Um, so I really, you know, I really had to bring something to the table. Yeah, and who, what kind of role are you playing on Prison Break? And do you like this one? Because you, you said it's your third audition. Yeah, um, I, yeah, I like this one for sure. Yeah. This one, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. I never really knew if I was a good guy or a bad <laughs> guy. So, you know, I, I kind of, I, I, I did it how I did it, but, uh, be, it was it was fun. There was just like I said, there was just so much going on. The intensity was always there, um, but the cast was great. Mm -hmm. Everyone on, on on that show was working really hard, and they were all super kind. And yeah, it was fun. And was a fun. lot of it is shot in Vancouver, right? Yeah, they uh, they shot most of it out here. Yeah. yeah. And how is it working with those big guys that are uh, already known? You know. <laughs> It's great. I mean, yeah. you get to you get to learn so much yeah. from them. You know, any of them experience. divas, or you can't tell us about. It. <laughs> um, no, they they were they were solid to me. Yeah. So nice. I was very appreciative of that opportunity. Mostly. And then the other thing that you have going on, that's why I'm calling you the super guy. The super guy. You're working that's on right. Supergirl. Yeah. How is Supergirl? <laughs> so far, so good. I just Are finished you... my second day. Yeah. Uh, what day is it today? Uh, two days ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, also action packed, but you know the content is not. It's it's serious, but you know it takes place in a universe where there's there's aliens flying around. There's you know all these crazy things happening. So it's a little bit it's a little bit more fun. You know, everyone is, they don't take themselves as serious and, uh, uh, you know, we're there for long hours, like, you know, 15, 16 hour days. And so everyone does a really good job in, in keeping everyone, you know, keep keeping everyone's morale up and, and, and we're joking with one another on set. It's, it's fun. So this super girl, girl, mm -hmm. <laughs> how is she in real life? <laughs> She's ex exactly how I envisioned her to be. <sighs> She's very much like her character, mm -hmm. and she's very much super. Mm -hmm. She's just this lovely, kind, funny girl. She's beautiful, um, and she looks great in that outfit. In yeah, that super outfit. <laughs> I'm like, damn, where do you get those deltoids from? Look, look, look at those traps. Yeah. <laughs> and are you in any costume? 
Am I in any costume? Yeah. Uh, you mean like a superhero yeah, costume? Yeah, 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 yeah. In my own head, I am. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but um, I play one of the D DEO agents, which is the faci facility where they uh, they they keep the public safe from extraterrestrial uh, forces. You know, keeping all the aliens out of 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 our city and keeping the Earth safe. Wow. So. Interesting. Okay, so we're just gonna take a short break, and when we come back, we're gonna see some of your action work. Ooh. Stay tuned, my people. You and I talk show with Louise Uachu. We love you, the authors, the musicians, the comedians, the entrepreneurs, and all other talented and inspiring people. Please contact info at uachu.com to be a guest on the show. All right, my people, we're back and we're still talking to Curtis. So let's show people a little bit of your work. Oh boy. Just a sample of your work. Okay. And show them and then we can keep talking about it and talking about your future, what do you want to ultimately, you know, accomplish and sure. what kind of super actor you want to be. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see what he has. Actually, it wasn't me. I paid someone to <laughs> play all those characters. That's crazy. So you are physically fit like that. Yeah, you have to can, be, right? I you can. I can act it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's, Is it? Do you feel like you may get stereotype cast into the classic Asian, you know, martial arts mm. thing? Um, That's a great question. Um, Definitely, in my earlier years, there was that issue. I think now that it's 2016, there's so many different shows out there, and diversity is a is a you know a big key factor in a lot of the shows right now. I think that stereotype and that pigeonholing has decreased a bit. Um, I've worked very hard to get out of that. Uh, I mean, I, I love. Uh, action sequences. I love stunts and all that, and I admire you know the people that do all of that. But um, that's only a part of what I like to do. Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. You know, mm -hmm. I love to act. Yeah. I love. I've had the you know the opportunity to play many different types of people, characters, the last couple of years, and uh, I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully that continues. Mm -hmm. You know. Ideally, do you have an ideal role? that you haven't had yet, but you would want to shout out right here to put it in the universe. I remember on the red carpet you told me about Rush Hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rush Hour 5. Yes. That's what I walked down the red carpet with <laughs> so that photographers would look my direction. Uh, oh, absolutely. Working with those guys would be amazing. R Brett Radner, Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker. You know, growing up, uh, as an Asian, as an Asian kid, there weren't too many, you know, Asian actors to, to really aspire to be. Like, you know what I mean? You have your Bruce Lee, you have your Jet Li, Jackie Chan, a few other people. Um, so Rush Hour was definitely one of those movies where it was the first time sitting, you know, sitting in the theater as a kid being like, wow, an Asian guy in, in Hollywood, you know what I mean? So to, to have the opportunity to work with them would be a dream. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And ideally, if you had to write your own role, mm -hmm. what would it look like? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, you're putting me on the spot. Something that pays well. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think someone who's just real, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, someone who, I mean, I'd, I'd like to play a lot of things, but ultimately just a human being That's that race, and, and, and gender and all that is, is all, it's all secondary, you know what I mean? Someone who can, uh, 
I'd love to play, you know, I love playing bad guys, but I'd love to play like the hero, someone to save the day, someone to kick ass and, and you know, save his girl, save his family, save the world. Mm -hmm. And how did you begin in acting in the first place? Like, was this always your dream or did you pursue something else and then realize, ah, you know? <laughs> I've, I've always loved entertaining. Uh, I, I started off throwing, uh, throwing parties and all that kind of stuff and hustling and doing this and doing that and wanting to be an entertainer from that uh, side of things. Um, I got into acting, uh, I, I watched a show that was shot out here called Dragon Boys. I think it was like in 2006 or something like that. And again, seeing Asian people, especially from Vancouver, all doing it, I thought this is something that definitely I can do, I would love to do as well. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I, I always grew up dancing and, 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 and you know, messing around. And I, I always, I'm the kind of guy, if I watch a movie, I become that person for that week. You know what I mean? Like, I, I remember watching Speed as a kid. I was Keanu Reeves for two weeks straight, <laughs> running around shooting teachers and shooting kids and stuff like that. So movies definitely had a huge effect on me. And I, I always wanted to, to, to follow suit some way, somehow. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take a short break and come back and keep talking about it, my people. You and I talk show with Louise Wachu. We love you, the authors, the musicians, the comedians, the entrepreneurs, and all other talented and inspiring people. Please contact info at .com to be a guest on the show. People, we're back. We're talking to Curtis. And uh, he, he's such a, a, a great person, great individual in real life. Oh, shucks. <laughs> And he's always so stylish. Uh, so, you, did you start out, we were talking about your beginnings. Did you go into any, any other thing or your in, the entertainment business was your ultimate destination? Some people like, you know, like Jamie, for example, he went to criminology or something. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, like I said, I think uh, I, was, I was definitely uh, a, a big business guy. I, I have... Um, both my mom and my dad, they're both entrepreneurs. So growing up, I, 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 I had a strong business mind, business sense. And like I said, I used, I used to throw a lot of parties and stuff like that. Um, so I started off in high school throwing, you know, pre-grads, doing our prom and stuff like that, which eventually led to doing the club stuff. And um, that was kind of my first love. I wanted to be like a club owner, a big guy. Night of the Roxbury was one of my favorite movies. <laughs> So, I uh, love that movie too. Yeah, I wanted to be them. And then since I started acting, you know, I was always still juggling things on the side, like restaurant business, uh, you know, clothing business as well, fat in the fashion world. But uh, acting was, was something that always stuck with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm thankful for, for my friends that I, that I keep around me, you mm -hmm. know, for, for the support and uh, for all the love they gave me and the encouragement to, to keep my head straight and uh, to keep, keep me focused on staying in that lane. In that lane, because it's a very hard business to be in. Absolutely. What about your family and your parents? Were they yeah. supportive or were they like, no, you gotta be a dentist? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I'd love to be a dentist. But um, they, my mom was always very supportive. Mm -hmm. My mom, you know, God bless her, she was, she was always the one to say, you know what, life's short. If this is what you wanna do, do it. You know, don't worry about us, don't worry about what anybody says, you know, you, you got to go after your dreams. Um, so from day one, she was the one that supported me, and she's a big reason as to why I, I, I work so hard and why I strive to be successful. Um, my dad wasn't as supportive at first, but I think I earned his trust and I, I, uh, I, I showed him what, what was capable of this business uh, and how things were turning. So, yeah, mm -hmm. they. Uh, did you find it any difficulty being taken seriously? Because, you know, sometimes in the beginning, actors are not taken seriously by anyone around them. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. How did you find the reaction around you? <laughs> um, I think through just many years of just consistency, uh, people started taking me more seriously. Um, I think. You know, like I said, I, I love entertaining people. So in my head, I've always been an entertainer. And so I think people can translate that to me being an actor. Um, 
but yeah, just keeping my head down, mm -hmm. you know, and just and just working my butt off mm. to, and staying focused. Yeah. Plus, eventually, people will start taking me more seriously for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there any other thing out there that if you weren't doing acting, that you would be doing that? You know, is there something else you sit back and you're like, damn, you know, I want to do that? For sure. Uh, what you're doing. Oh. You know? uh, <laughs> I always admire people with, with uh, like a, a set of skills that they can take anywhere in the world and do, you know. Uh, I get inspired by a lot of individuals that way. Uh, barbering was always something that I always, I always loved doing. You know, like you have a nice, fresh lineup. That's something that like I get immense satisfaction from, like lining someone up, doing a fade. Um, probably, if I wasn't doing this, I would be, I would be again somewhere in the entertainment world. You know, I I, I love to sing. I love to dance. So. I always wanted to be a pop star growing up. Uh, you know, if not that, then like it's maybe maybe the club business or restaurant business or something like that. Yeah. Nice. Well, sh since you talked about my hair, I want to give a shout out to my uh, hairstylist this week. Hey. I went all the way to Surrey for this. Wow. 104 and uh, King George, the, okay. ha the hairdresser is there. They are very nice people. It's worth it. Great customer service. Cool. <laughs> so I uh, also wanted to ask you about advice for young people. Mm -hmm. What is an advice that you could give upcoming young people and tell them that this is what you need to do, this is the steps, this is what you need to avoid in order to become a success. Mm -hmm. But I think we are going to take a short break before we do that. Sure. And then when we come back in our last segment, you can tell young people, hey, don't mess around. It's what you need to do. <laughs> Will do. All right, my people, let's take a short break and uh, come back and talk about that. We love you, the authors, the musicians, the comedians, the entrepreneurs, and all other talented and inspiring people please contact info at watcher.com to be a guest on the show. All right, my people, we're back. It's our last segment with Curtis Slum. <laughs> and we're going to talk about advice for the young ones. Advice for the young ones. Yes. Let's do it. Young kids watching. This inspires me a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. You know, this is, uh, this is, I think, what all the hard work goes towards being having the ability to inspire others you know i've been inspired by many before me and i think it's only right that i can help carry on that tradition yeah carry on and passing on down that torch if yeah. you will um, you know it's being an actor uh, it's hard <laughs> yeah, there's very little room for error mm -hmm. you know what i mean and a lot of times it's very uh, unforgiving so ultimately you have to just trust yourself know yourself know what you're capable of know what it is you want be specific with your goals um, and ultimately you just gotta at times you just gotta let go and just play just let yourself discover let yourself fail failure is a huge thing I've been failing my whole life <sighs> <laughs> Most I'm the biggest people loser hate there failing, is. you know? Yeah, no, for sure. I was scared, I was scared to try things for yeah. you know, a long time, and it wasn't until I started saying, f screw it, you know? Let's, let's just try it. Whatever happens, happens. You fail, you just pick yourself up, back up, and you, you continue. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's the, that's the biggest thing. You can only learn from, from doing. People, people, someone can't tell you how to do something. You gotta, you gotta learn how to do it yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, keep a good group of friends around you with, you know, with the same set of goals, like-minded individuals. I'm very fortunate. I have, uh, you know, my best friends, Paulo Valdez, yes. who is also a writer, director. I saw him. Yeah, you met him. Crazy guy. Crazy guy. Fashionista guy. guy. <laughs> yes, he is. Um, and he keeps me inspired. You know, Leslie Birch. Um, my lovely girlfriend, you know, we, it's, it's, a, it's a small group of friends that I have and a small circle that I keep around me, but they keep me focused and they keep me, you know, charged up and, and inspired to, to as aspire to do more yeah. and to help more yeah. people on, along the way. And when you're going for a role, there's so many people competing for it. Mm -hmm. 
How do you make sure that you're the guy that gets it? How do you distinguish yourself from everybody sitting in the room doing the audition? That's a great question. Um, there really is no right or wrong way to audition, I think. You know, ultimately, you just have to, how you set yourself apart from everybody else, you just got to be yourself. You have to know yourself, know your attributes, know your, you know, uh, know your flavor, if you will. And when you, when you bring yourself to a role, you have to know how to apply that flavor. And that's what sets you apart. Surprise, because I work in casting as well. Surprisingly, you know, when 10 different people come in reading for the same role, most of the time, if not all 10, at least, you know, eight of them will have their own bit of flavor, mm -hmm. their own style, their own way of delivering certain lines or doing certain things. And uh, that, was really, that was really refreshing to see. You know, and that was a re constant reminder of... That's interesting. Know your flavor. Yeah. And uh, what, is, what if you're, like, vanilla? What if you're vanilla? <laughs> hey, vanilla's good, too. I just had some vanilla ice cream on some pumpkin pie yesterday, you know? It's, uh, it's like... If everyone... you're vanilla, you got to know just... You apply the vanilla to, to you know, other flavors and how that, how that blends in. You know, me, I'm sriracha, right? So... Ooh. What not is, everybody... What, yeah, what is, is that? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a hot sauce. Oh. So you can't apply that to everything, and it doesn't work for everything, but it is what it is. And for those that do enjoy sriracha, you know, you run with it, and you, and you go. Mm -hmm. And in the long run, mm -hmm. um, what about the looks, you know? What, what does the look do for you? Are you worried about your looks because uh, are you worried about how you look? Because at the same right. time, it's about how you look at the same time, right? Yeah. Have you ever had that pressure of looking a certain way? Right, right, right. Um, like I said, it's a very, it's a really confusing business. There, like, like I said, there's no right or wrong way. There's no formula to uh, success. You either, you know, you, you either have it or you don't. And if you don't have it, you, you can get it, you know? And, um, looks, I think, definitely help, but looks is not everything. Nowadays, with all the different shows that are out there, they, I think, encourage unique-looking people, people of all different, you know, colors, looks, and, and everything like that. So just be you. Nice. And celebrate it. Yes. You know? All right, Curtis, we're coming to the end. Do you have any last words that you would like to say to the viewers or the young kids who are going to want to grow up and become like you? Mm -hmm. We have one minute left. Okay. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me, first and foremost. This has been a blast. Um, I'm so proud of all my fellow Vancouverites, for every single individual out there who's, who's going after their dreams, going after their goals. Um, just stick with it. You know, there's a lot of dark days, especially growing up in Vancouver, when you can endure the rain, you know, the, the, cl the cloudy skies. You're that much stronger and that much happier when the sun comes out. You know. See you, you again know. soon, Curtis Slam. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. <laughs> Stick with it, my people.